And now factoring in the form of ax squared plus bx plus z is equal to zero. In this case, it's kind of tricky because we're going to consider all the factors of the first term and of the constant term. To understand, let's have an example. Number seven. 2x squared plus 3x minus 14 is equal to 0. Consider all the factors of the first term. Factors can be 2 times 1 or 1 times 2. For the third term, negative 14, factors are negative 14 times 1 or 1 times negative 14 also be negative 7 times 2 or negative 2 times 7 then we're going to choose or we need to use the trial and error method so in this case we only have one factor for the first term that is 2x times 1x or simply x Choose. Let us try negative 14 times 1. Negative 14 times positive 1. Now let us check the middle term. To check the middle term, just multiply the outer to outer term. That is 2x. And inner to inner term. Negative 14 times x. Negative 14 add that is negative 12 which is not equal to the middle term that means that factor is incorrect so let us change or try again this time I want to try negative 7 plus 2 so negative 7 and positive 2 outer to outer that is 2x times 2, 4x, inner to inner, negative 7 times x, negative 7x. 4x minus 7x, that is negative 3x. Still, they are not equal. So these factors are also wrong. Try another one. Let us try negative 2 and 7. negative 2 and 7 or negative 2 and 7 2x times 7 that is 14 mm -hmm. okay let us try positive 7 then negative Let's try now, outer to outer, 2x times negative 2, negative 4x. 7 times x, positive 7x. Add, that is 3x. They are now the same. That means our factors are correct now, finally. Now, equate to 0. 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. And x minus 2 is equal to 0. Transpose, 2x is equal to negative 7. Divide by 2. So x sub 1 is negative 7 over 2. Next, x sub 2 is, transpose, positive 2. Another example. Our last example, number 8. 4x squared plus 27x minus 7 is equal to 0. Get all the factors of 4. That is 4 times 1, 1 times 4, 2 times 2. And the factors of 7, negative 7, negative 7 times 1 or negative 1 times 7. And use the trial and error. So first, let us try 
4x times x. And in this case, negative 1, I will choose negative 1 times 7, plus 7. Now, let us check. Outer to outer, 4x times 7, 28x, inner to inner, negative 1 times x, negative x. 28x minus x, that is 27x. Are they the same? Yes, that means our factors are correct. Now, equate to 0. So, 4x minus 1 is equal to 0, and x plus 7 is equal to 0. 4x is equal to transpose negative 1, that is 1. So, now, divide by 4. x sub 1 will be positive 1, 4. The other one, x sub 2 is equal to negative 7. And now, we're done in our lesson 2, solving quadratic equation by factoring.